Hey guys, my name is Ben and if you ask me what are the two things that I would take with me to a deserted island, I would answer you an Android tablet or an iPad packed with games and a good Game of Thrones book. And today those two things come under one roof, one game which I am super super excited to be playing for you today. So sit back, relax and enjoy and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to be the first one to see my latest videos. I truly truly appreciate you guys support. And let's do this! The trout, the trout, the trout in the towers, the wolves drop the fish and they all ran away. The trout he fucked <laughs> off and I was out. Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. He'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. I mean, if we're being honest, you are just a squire. Why not? You don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> and him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honour. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your coat. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, king in the north! north! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, 
Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You serve me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. And I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots, boots. Just my luck to end up ignoring while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the <laughs> fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I. But I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. It's more easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Just run into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. Oh!
got it. Did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I, I didn't leave him. I, I couldn't save him. Find a weapon, quickly! Lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to hold <gasps> on the <sighs> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. There's no time to waste. Damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. What the phrase says you have to go. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, by I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> With love, sir. And that's gonna be it for part one i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you want to see more real quick make sure to bump that like button also i wanted to ask you guys how do you feel about the story so far and also what is your favorite game of thrones character so make sure to leave all that in the comment section below you can also check out some of my other videos and make sure to subscribe for more and i'll see you next time keep playing